Hello and welcome to TechPot 360 EX. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to calculate new variables from the CFDA Analyze menu, as well as using the Contour Color Cutoff feature to isolate interesting regions of our plot. For the same dataset we have used in previous videos, we now want to visualize the vortices shed from the blade movement evolve over time. To do this, we will calculate a new variable, vorticity magnitude, to show the strength of the vortex. Before performing any calculations, we first need to ensure that the required existing variables are properly assigned in the field variables dialog. For this dataset, we can see that the convective variables, velocity, and the state variables, pressure and density, have already been assigned. Next, from the Analyze drop-down menu, choose Calculate Variables, then click Select to bring up a list of functions built into TechPlot. For this exercise, we will select vorticity magnitude as the new variable that we wish to calculate. Keep all the defaults and click Calculate. Having Calculate on Demand toggled on will defer loading of the new variable until it is needed in the plot. Vorticity magnitude has now been added to our dataset as a new variable, and we can select it as the active contour variable in the Contour Details dialog. Let's readjust our contour levels from 0 to 50 over 21 levels to make even levels and a more interesting plot. Then, utilize the cutoff property to not show any values of vorticity magnitude below 7. By doing this, we can isolate and emphasize the values of the vortices shedding in our plot. We can make several other quick adjustments to the legend and clean up the plot. then animate. The initial animation moves slowly because we selected Calculate on Demand when we first calculated vorticity magnitude. Now that we are stepping through each time step, vorticity magnitude is being called to load the variable value at each zone as we animate. Toggling off Calculate on Demand will skip this process during the first animation and instead will load all the variable values upon the initial calculation. Once the initial loading for all the zones has completed, the animation will perform much more smoothly. This concludes the fourth video in the Transient series. You can download TechPlot360EX from our website, and thank you for watching.